what's up everyone, it's Jan Bors, new video and today I'm going to talk about Festival de Cansao 2024 semi-final 2 qualifiers. Five qualified directly to the finals, the last artist just qualified from like like second round. In this video I won't do the mistake like from previous video that I was guessing the order or whatever I did. Just the last one we know that it was the sixth place basically but then the rest of five they don't know if they end up like first or last with the voters. That doesn't really matter. The important is that I will go through all six of them. I will give you my opinion, my first initial reaction of their performance and tell you after this all six. First of all, after each of them, I will tell you what I think about the song. I will be also commenting during it, definitely after it before I jump to the next one. But then after it, I will do kind of a summary of all the final a little bit, all the finalists, all the favorites I have, the whole summary about the music there and who I wish to win, but who I also think might win. Depends on what I'm also gonna see, but definitely stay with me the whole time to enjoy this experience with me. Maybe I will be very happy, maybe I will be very critical. It's both possible, so write me also in the comments below some contra ideas or support the ideas, I don't know. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video among your friends or not even your friends, just share it. And also buy me a coffee if you would like to. And I also must say that I love Festival da Cancel for its amazing authenticity. Sometimes I don't like the songs too much, but I can say that artists are creating songs which are true to themselves and they're not trying to please Eurovision formula, whatever it is and so on. And that's what I love the most. Anyway, that was a little bit intermezzo between the start. Let's start. Let's do this first song after the intro. Okay, so the first song which make it through the second chance, second round of voting, it's Rita Onofre with the song Creatura. And let's do this. I'm, all, I'm also using EurovisionWorld.com for me. This is the best Eurovision hub for everything. New information, odds, everything. And it's very, you can find everything around here, what you're trying to search for in a very logical order. So we really recommend if you don't know this page. And if, anyway, Rita Onofre, and there are no discussions, which is also refreshful. Rita Onofre, Creatura, here we go. Okay. Some contemporary art. I don't remember the song already from my reactions, previous one. Nice programmed light. Like she definitely know how to act. It feels very natural to her. Okay, we have also the stage design on LED. My friend always says when somebody put as a reference, ay, 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 it's a lazy, it's a lazy songwriting. I don't know. I kind of like it sometimes. I like the I like I really like her flow. I really like how it's all kind of very simplistically done. It don't I I cannot f feel the emotion, but I'm, if I go with the music, it feels a little bit like a morning show. All of it because it's very empty, very simplistic, and they keep it very white, you know, for some reason. 
but she's a little bit lost there. Even she can really sing, she can really perform. I cannot really enjoy. And there are passages of the song which I cannot enjoy that much, or they don't talk to me musically. At least, but she's, she really do. She really does. But I don't get why there are not so much more close-ups, you know, to... When I need the emotion. It's just very random. I think this is the issue. But I loved her dress, for example. This is beautiful. Just very... It looks simple. It's not simple at all. And it's nice. You know, so that was uh, Rita Anofre with Creatura. My feeling after this, like it's a very beautiful song after all. Like there are passages, especially those precarious, the, the, the starts of the new new beginnings of after each big chorus or refrain, however you call it, are in my opinion a little bit contradicting the melody. That's the first initial feeling. It, it, it's the artistic choice, whatever. But then the, the song gradates all the time and get to this ai 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 which is nice, but it's also very simplistic, probably, I don't know what is the song about, but I got that this har like this this harmful feeling of a broken soul who will just want to try again, you know? This is very classical emotion from the powerful songs, which it's very interesting that this song is powerful, but it starts very low but in my opinion it visually don't really appeal on me because it feels like to watching the the theater the theater the contemporary theater where the, when the act is alone there is just one chair one light some little details which should tell me the story but it's all around the place but a, the, the actor is a little bit lost for a reason but in my opinion this doesn't really work television wise because then it feels like undone unprepared somehow you know or it just doesn't transfer probably the same way how for the audience in the studio. This is the only thing, this is why, why I think this is the reason why it was sixth and not bare. Maybe not, maybe there will be just such good songs that I cannot imagine, but this is this is the thing how I, I perceive it and feel it. That okay, the song is perfect, but what how to translate to this? It's not a theater, it's a television show. So it has a little bit different rules, even we try to break them and this is okay. It's not breakable to the way that it's always appealing. You still need to, through cameras, feel the emotions, which it's very hardly transferable. Anyway, I'm repeating myself, next song. Silk Nobre and Change. Those interests are like, okay, we have... Okay, we have a story. Oh, this is the circus act because he, he it's like a circus principal or the guy in the Hyde Park, you know, or some politician. Actually, I would expect this to be more colorful. They too much play with black and white, in my opinion, that should be colorful. At some point I like this song. Honestly, I remember this. It made an impact. And I have the same socks. He's an entertainer. But this is... This must be sold a little differently. This would never work in such a setup. There should be more feathers everywhere. Like this is theatrical for a small theater, but it's lost on the stage. But he can sing really. That counts for most of the Portuguese artists which made it to TV, which make it to TV, who make it to TV. This has power. But the whole setup doesn't really work for it very well. It needs much better camera angles, a much different approach for cameras like this, like the Steadicams exactly all the time. 
Because now it works, right? Why? Because it suggestively talks to you. Now you're in the movie. This is a movie thing. This is a musical. Then you can have this and then st steady come again, you know? Because you're telling the story. No. Now you're just showing the act. Because this would work. Like I really like it's musically really good. It's like really like a, like a show from American movie. Like on Tony Awards, that would work perfectly. It's not really Eurovision, maybe. Whatever, whatever is Eurovision. Change. Like Eurovision, oh, Eurovision is for sure changing. This is, this is without a doubt. This change was very refreshing for me because first of all, it's a funny act, but also it's a quality act. And you know, somebody tells like, what is quality? Like, how, who are you? The arbiter of quality, not like it, this is subjective. So for me, this is, this is quality and I enjoy it. Of course, I don't feel that this could succeed at Eurovision because I think it's very niche, very specific, very musical act from Tony Awards or some musical movie, which works perfectly. And I would say that if it's sold much better on stage and not by the artist because uh, Silk Nobre and all the setup actually work perfect, much better. I would put more colors, but if it's, if it's done by cameras, much more sensitive in the way that you go with the story, that he's in the move all the time, you go with him. I know it's very hardcore, but it's worth it. It would look absolutely amazing, sold out, very pomp, because you would suggestively tell the big story by such a storytelling by cameras, because it's not just storytelling what you say, it's storytelling what you show. This is always the biggest, hardest task, how to translate. And exactly such songs gives you the opportunity to go against all the television rules. Forget them and do it as like you shoot a movie. Even this is a little bit contracted because you never shoot movie life, but it's possible. And then it like his charisma would elevate the song's charisma would elevate. The all messaging of the song would elevate and it will be memorable. This, it's still good because he's good. The song is catchy at some point. Not, I think this is not really for everybody, but uh, that would really help to make it like, like you would see it and say, wow, and mic drop, you know, that's it. Next song. And the next song will be, why well, I'm doing this? <laughs> Nomaka feat, Ana Maria Acetar. I didn't listen to this song for a while. And I must say, I remember that this is one of my favorite songs. So I'm very curious how it translates on the stage. Okay, here we go. Nomaka fit Ana Achetar. I like that they're using live vocals. This just brings such much more human power, you know? Okay, she really can sing. Mm. I'm too, I'm sold by those sensitive songs. I already have goosebumps. Such, how can she hold the tone? It's impossible. This really makes me happy, you know? I like how it's predictable also, so you can jump into the flow of it immediately, you know? My god, crazy. 
And it feels so simple, but the emotion is so in all the melody everywhere, you know, in her tone. It feels so natural, authentic, you know. And this human touch in it. I think it really reminds me of one amazing Czech song, a little bit. Hmm. It's very similar melody to something very familiar to me. Sorry, I'm, I get this intermezzo into this, oh, but it felt very emotional for me. Even it's very, very simplistic song actually without any staging, but you can feel few things on this. Of course, I'm and again speaking subjectively, right? But that won't change. Is that when you put the humans back vocals singing? It's and that's in coloration of what's happening. So it fits. You have this special touch, special sense. Something what it's very hard to describe. I think it's unmeasurable, but it's something what you feel. It's like when you go in the mall and you feel that somebody is watching at you, and you turn and that you feel like somebody's just doing this. But it's there. Nobody probably can measure this kind of energy which is between those two people. But it's there and this gives the song something more. It's more authentic. You feel it more without being able to describe why do you have it? Why is this emotion there? And that's exactly because of this, because of this human touch. You feel it's real somehow, you know? And maybe, maybe this is just me, like, although I can say that this song is very simplistic, at some point it loses a little bit of power, it's a little bit of repetitive, it just works on me because I, I, it just has the power, Anna Maria has the power also to drag me into the song, I can close my eyes and be in some of my stories and live it. This is emotion only the perfect artists have, so Anna Maria it is an amazing perfect artist like it's very simple and also with a simple song she can do such a magic without any staging that's the magic also for the composers who just created a very simple but very catchy melody which which just works like for me this is wow for me this is wow music can be simple you know next song Leo Media Duce Misterio Leo Media Doce Misterio. He's alone on the set. Oh, he's very sympathetic. Like somebody smiles. It doesn't need to be in the camera and sold, right? Some this is addictive. Oh my god, he has amazing voice. Everybody has amazing voice. Oh my god, but this is so approachable. It's old school, but it's good. Now we are. This is. This is. Those are like African rhymes. I love Festival da Cansao because no other fe other song contest, maybe Italy, won't give you such emotions. This is just uh, saying thank you back to music, you know? I am enjoying it, like, because he's a perfect artist, you know? He's, he's, uh, he's selling this emotion. It goes... It's so real.
so, uh, so authentic, so pleasant, so real. Like, who loves music must love Festival da Cansao, come on. This is a little bit weird how they all sit and watch it like this. <laughs> it feels inappropriate. This is just nice. What can I say? Like, I, I'm not see it winning. If it, if 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 he's gonna win, Leo Media, it would be very nice. Uh, I don't know if such a song can have a chance at Eurovision, but it won my soul. I, you know, the first shot when you see his smile and you sold. This is a mastery of being a performer that immediately that person catch you and won't lose you. This is this is just a brilliant combination, you know, that so many... I, this is a natural talent. I think this is nothing you can be teached. You cannot learn it. It's something what comes from you. And that's, again, something what you cannot measure. Like, I can try to copy paste this and I, I wouldn't be able to do this, you know, because it's it's just the energy I, I don't have. I didn't get as a person into me. I have maybe other talents, but this is brilliant. Like I always love it. Somebody has something specific, different, and especially positive. And this was what I got. Amazing, brilliant. But let's go to the next song, which is from... Actually, I'm, I'm very surprised that, that Philippa didn't make it fascinating. Probably people don't like the English songs. I will maybe later watch it, but um, this is very fascinating. Anyway, uh, Cristina Clara, Primavera. So what is this about life? <laughs> I don't remember. the vocals I'm immediately in the movie so many flowers nice dress oh no don't lose me no. This is not for me. I love her voice, I love her charisma. But this is probably something very, of course, very typical, right? Or she's very popular. This melody I like. This shot I love. It always works. This is a good old trick. Like slow motion. And this is for me too much theater. Like I would enjoy this is in the in the theater much more. Especially when I don't understand the lyrics, you know. But the song doesn't talk to me that well.
But this, da, 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 this melody is really good. But then it, this is a theater with amazing vocals. <laughs> oh, but if also a good atmosphere. I'm pretty sure it, it talks about something very sad in a very funny way, like it's usual for artists. But uh, no, this is like, it's not no like bullshit, but it's no that, okay, very nice, lovely, but uh, I'm just telling, not for me. Next song, Buba Espino o Farol. I remember the guy with the glasses. Very specific looking. Yeah. This is literally artistic from the very first moment. Amazing costume. If, like he sings this like it's nothing. This is fascinating always. Like the technique of the voice is brilliant. And he looks a little bit like the guy like hey I came here and sing, sit and like uh oh so I can sing. This <laughs> is brilliant. I don't feel it. Sorry. I thought I will, it will catch me. But at some point this is... I think he cannot translate the emotion to me somehow. I, I don't... I cannot tell you why. Because the song is nice. It's a little bit repetitive also. And I would enjoy it. But I, this is the moment. This is the difference when the artist can transfer me the emotion and when I'm unable to receive it. Like I liked it, it was very fascinating, but then it lost me because I think it, it missed the this layer I was talking about recently. Of course for me, like we are all different, but definitely this energy didn't transfer to me and then when this soft song lost me because then I was starting to thinking about the song, if I really like it. And when you're, I think when you're starting to quest, to putting this question, it's already over. You just simply like it or you don't. There is nothing in between. Of course, then you can ob try to objectively subscribe some elements, but I think there is no need for me doing it at this point because objectively I would say like this is nicely done song, a little bit repetitive, very nicely 
presented. But is this the thing we want? Definitely it's thing I don't want, because I want to feel things during during the listening the songs, that's why I'm listening music after all, to feel emotions. And this won't work, but this doesn't count to all Festival da Canção, because Festival da Canção is brilliant in the way that it can deliver many various, very intensive, but very soft and very real emotions. And this also happened in here again. Of course, there are songs which I listen in studio versions which I really liked. So, for example, uh, Pede Coro from Huka, You Can't Hide from, from Philippa, didn't make it. Maria Joao with Dia didn't make it, which I also really like. That's life, only six could make it. And from those six, I would say that Rita Onofre, which was the first one, which if it's shot differently it would really work i like the song silk nobre i i, I like it also if it if it will be done differently i would easily send it a vote uh nomaka with anna maria for sure this is my blood type so this is for me the best song of them all today just because what i felt through it this is very subjective saying i don't know if this could really work translate on the world like into the world it would such song would have it hard in Eurovision, especially with semi-finals where are no juries. Because people, I, I, I'm not sure that Europe is anymore accepting such songs. Such pure emotions, I think they need drastic emotions more likely. This is my feeling, but oh, that, that means that also Leo Media would have it hard, maybe. But maybe not, because his smile, it's addictive. This is, I think that like he could catch all the people immediately because he he just gives you he just gives you the emotion without even starting the song he just do like and you're sold and this is brilliant like this it's not fair that he has this power but he has it so for me this actually i, I must say that this round the second semi-final was more powerful because there were more songs which talked to me really there was a really exactly no song which I would say like, let's finish it. Maybe a little bit from Christina Clara, but to say like, okay, uh, get off, like let, let's finish. In first semifinal I had had those moments, but in the second one I didn't. So it's much more stronger list in here, and I enjoyed it. If I can choose only three from here, I basically said Rita Onofre. <laughs> it's hard. Oh my god because I want also Leo Media, but also I want Silk Nobre. Guys, you're doing it just good. <laughs> good, but let's watch what, what are in the finals. Buba Espino, Cristina Clara, Yolanda, Joao Borges, Leo Media, Nena, Nomaka, Noble, Perpetua, Rita Onofre, Rita Roca, and Silk. And for me, this is clear, Yolanda with Grito. If not, and now I will be thinking about what can succeed at Eurovision in the way People are only, only people are voting. So I would really say low media because he will, just people will, would love him. And he's very real and natural. And then you can send Nomaka, you can send Nena. That would also work perfectly in my, in my opinion. And also I would say Silk Nobre would work if it's done perfectly. It would be a similar fate as last year, but maybe a little bit better because it's, it also feels real but this is just my opinion my opinion only what i must sum up that you have very nice choices something very good ones you won't have it also easy at eurovision with only juries missing in semi-finals with either of them because it's art it's something what it's hard to translate to regular audience which is drinking and eating potato chips during the semi-finals and then voting so I'm glad that still Portugal is not jumping on this train and bring something what really should be proud of without feeling that it's pleasing something. Even it's not the smart way how to do it, it's a good way how to keep Eurovision the credit. So thank you for this Portugal, thank you everybody who's working on this. I wish luck to every single artist there. I have my favorites but I wouldn't be sad if anybody else would make it. Because after all, this is your choice, Portugal. And I think you know what to do all the time. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to give 
this video a thumbs up actually this is the same thing send me a coffee if you would like to support me support this channel support what i'm doing and share this video and talk to me in the comments below and i see you next time thank you for watching bye